We've been talking about the special products, those being a perfect square trinomial and a difference of squares. We'll look at how that, that those type of special products might be modeled. In your notes, you'll see this problem, example four, and it says that a designer holds a border with a uniform width to square rug. The original side of the rug is X minus five feet. Now, probably need to circle that. We've talked about circling important things. And the length of the entire rug of the original rug in the border is X plus five feet. Probably need to circle that. That's, that's basically a, a number. So I want to know what is the area of the border. and evaluate the area of the border if x equals 10 feet. So I've got really two problems to try to dig into. So let's, let's, let's see if we understand what it's saying. The original length of the rug, okay, was x minus five feet, and it is a square rug. Okay, so I'm gonna put a square around around the word square, which means if I'm going to find the area, okay, then I would have to take the original side, x minus 5, and multiply it times itself, right? That's how I find the area of a square, side times side. Okay, then it says the side length of the entire rug, uh, including the original rug and the border. So here's what's happened. This rug has gotten bigger by a border that goes all the way around all four four sides. Now this, this, this side length of this new rug with the border is x plus 5. So x plus 5 is bigger. So in other words, I'll be finding the area of a, a bigger rug. So what we want to know then is what is the area of the border? And then evaluate the area of the border if x is 10 feet. Rug that, that basically is going to have this border around it. Okay, so in other words, a bigger row, okay? And that's not the best drawing in the world, but I guess it'll work, okay? Now, what I'm asked to find is the area of this border region here. Okay, so what I need to understand is how do I find the area of that and not include this area in the middle? Well, the way that, that I would do that is I would need to take the area of the large rug and subtract from it the whole. If I take the whole thing and just go minus the whole, Minus the small rug. Then I'll have the area of just the border. I think that makes sense. So let's talk about what is the area of the original rug? Well, the area of the original rug is going to be um, remember the original one, one is the smaller one. It's going to be x minus 5 squared, right? And the area of the larger one with the border is x plus 5 squared. Let me label this. Remember, this is x minus 5. This side would be x here plus 5. Then if I took the area of the large one and subtracted the area from the small one, I'd have the area of the border. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to write down as x plus 5 squared minus x minus 5 squared. Well, my first step would be to square these out. Okay, and I'm going to put brackets around 
understand I've got to do multiplication before I subtract. I mean, that goes back to, you know, like elementary school. So it's x plus 5 times x plus 5. I'm going to find that answer. And I'm going to subtract from that answer this x minus 5 times x minus 5. So I get x squared here plus 5x plus 5x plus 25. Leave that in the brackets for the moment. Minus. And then in these, so here's it would be x squared minus 5x. Minus 5x plus 25. Okay? Just x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. Got everything covered now, okay? So, last step. Combine like terms. And I've got the trinomial simplified. Last step to simplify this trinomial as well. And to subtract, I just distribute the negative sign all the way through. Well, we've done that before. So this becomes plus. I reverse the signs here. Negative x squared plus 10x minus 25. Okay. So when I simplify it out, it's x squared minus x squared, which is 0. 10x plus 10x is just 10x. And 25 minus 25 is 0. So the area of the border is 10x. Let x equal 10. And so the area would be 10 times 10 or 100. All right, so just applying everything we already know, the problem isn't too difficult.